Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use worksheet in your Tableau data source. Okay. So from save data sources, we have Superstore data source that I'm going to check for this example. When you load the data at the bottom of the side, you will find one tab that says data source, then sheet one. Okay, and you can also get the preview of this sheet. By default, there is no element on this sheet. Okay, you can simply, however, uh, just drop it on here. And let's say I want to add a cells here. And you get this chart right here for which you can preview the sheet and you will find that there is a preview for this sheet now if you want to add additional sheet then you can choose from this option or you can right click on sheet and create new worksheet okay there's also these three buttons that say new worksheet new dashboard and new story okay so let's start with new sheet okay and it says sheet 2 you can also add one more and you will find these are the sheets in this order now if you want to change the way these sheets appear you can simply select them and move them any place you want okay so you have sheet 3 first 2 at the last and sheet 1 in the middle okay now Another part that I want to tell you about is renaming each sheet. Okay, so right click and choose rename sheet. Here you can choose, let's say chart. In another, you can rename as analysis. And in third, you can choose projection. Okay. Now, depending on how you want to showcase this data, you can arrange this by just moving them in order. Okay. Now, if you don't need any particular chart, all you have to do is right click on that sheet, then delete sheet. Okay. So let's click on that and it should show you only two sheet on your workbook. Okay, now what if you want to copy the chart in this sheet into another? In such case, all you have to do is right click on it and then duplicate sheet. Okay, and you get another sheet with name sheet 3. All this data copied into it as well. You can rename it if you want to. You can also export this sheet. Okay, so you get option to export in W workbook and W packaged workbook. So if these are not the format in which you want to export, then you can just keep it as is and instead use other export extensions. Okay, now one more thing left is copy formatting. If you have a particular format that you have used within your sheet then you can simply copy that and move into another sheet and paste that formatting okay so this depends on how complex your formatting is done for that particular sheet that you want to move on to another so best option in such case is simply duplicating that sheet instead of copy and pasting formatting but in some cases you don't want to edit the entire new sheet and only few specific formatting you want to move to a new sheet in such case this option can be really helpful now one very minor feature we have not discussed is color you can choose the color in which your worksheet tab appears let's say green here then you can choose from red and then let's say brown okay so it doesn't exactly colorize this entire tab only the bottom part 
Okay, now we have seen copy sheet, paste sheet, rename, delete, duplicate, then copy formatting and finally color. So these are some of the worksheet options that you can check. Now we can also create one paste order of these sheet if you want, depending on how many worksheets you are using, you can find that solution useful. So this was a short demo on how to use worksheet in your tablet desktop.